hey, it's Chad with Drive the Lightning. How you doing? Good? I hope so. I want you to have this. This is from me to you. That's a big old thumbs up right there. You know what? Boom. You get two thumbs up. You deserve it just for taking a minute to watch the show. You might have seen a little bit of a thing move past the screen. That was my cat, Rugen, the studio cat, who insists on being in the studio. It's a bedroom, you know, converted to quasi-studio. Insists on being here when I'm in here, so I can't do anything about that. Let's get to this. Uh, this comment that came in that was so interesting that I really want your thoughts on it came from one of our Aptera videos, and it came from Randy Lewis. And Randy said this, I'm curious what everyone's drop dead date is. That is the date where if your Aptera is not firmly scheduled, you will bail and likely purchase a different EV. For me, it's mid 2024. If Aptera is not in more or less cons consistent near full production mode by that point, I think they'll miss their window. I thought that was an interesting comment. I'm going to share my views because I know it won't change your thinking. We're all free thinkers here, but I really want to know what you think. Let's answer Randy and let's, uh, let's figure out what everybody's thinking. If you're, if you're down for that, go ahead and hit it up in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, we hit 700. That's because of 700 of you, and we really, Sarah and I really appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you haven't, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Cost you nothing. You hit that little button. Makes me happy. Makes Sarah happy. Makes Rugen, the studio cat, happy. So anyway, just a thought. No pressure. My thought is, and me and Sarah discussed this after this comment came in, our Nissan Leaf has been so good to us, and we've just haven't any problems with it. And because we haven't any problems with it, we're okay just to keep waiting for our Aptera if it's 2024, maybe even if it goes to 2025. That doesn't mean we might not buy another EV in the in the you know in the in between, but we're okay to keep waiting. So for us, there's no real end date. We only put a hundred dollars you know toward the pre-order. And you, by the way, you can do it for 70, shameless plug in the, in, the, uh, in the description. There's a link where if you hit that link to pre-order your Aptera, you get to do it for 70, cost me 100. And then Aptera will make me a billionaire when you buy your Aptera. No, but they'll help me with the price of mine. Okay, so for us, it doesn't matter. We can let that $100 ride for years if we, if we want to. It doesn't matter. But what about you? Because a lot of you, I know, don't currently drive electric cars. So you're thinking that Terra is going to be your first electric car. Are you going to stick with that plan? Or would you maybe think about jumping off at a certain point? And if you work for Aptera and you're watching this, write this stuff down in the comments because this is some good market research that you're getting for free. You're welcome. Uh, I want to read more of Randy's comments and why he thinks what he thinks here. So number one, he said, there'll be a ton of other competition in the thirty dollars to $40,000 uh, dollar range in the next couple of years. I think he's right there. And more delays, any more delays in Aptera will probably start increasing their prices as every other EV vendor has. Uh, let's not forget what happened with Rivian when they had all them pre-orders and they changed their price and people kind of lost their minds a little bit. I'm sure Aptera was paying attention. Number three, the supply chain issue will be nearly resolved by then and big boys will have plenty of inventory making it a buyer's market. Yeah, maybe the Chevy Silverado will be out, the Ford Lightning, the Ford Mustang, the Chevy Bolt. You know, they're already kind of out there, but they might be able to expand quickly. So this was a good question, Randy. Thank you for sending this. We appreciate comments like this because then we get a little bit of a group think going. We can all kind of discuss it, see where everybody's at. Maybe learn a little bit from each other. We really appreciate you taking the time. One more comment came in, and this is going to sound like a plug. It's not meant that way. But Timothy Moroni commented this. So my wife is curious as to what the back of your shirt looks like. I was wearing this shirt when that comment went in. So here you go. You ready, Timothy? Have your wife. Go get your wife. Make sure she's watching. Okay, she's here. Hi, Mrs. Maroney. Here's the back of my shirt. So it's blank with a side of cat hair because we have cats. All right, that's it. Chad, drive the lightning. Appreciate these comments. Really look forward to reading the answers here, and we'll see you another time. If you want to watch another video, by the way, here's some updates that came out recently that we shared. Maybe uh, they'll help you decide to go with Aptera. Have a great day. Thank you.